Hello, I'm the Budget Mudder and welcome to episode 6 of my Space 1999 Eagle One Transporter build. Firstly, let me apologise for not getting the video out sooner. The reason was I was having real bad problems saving the file from my video editing software. Reported it and it took the company 5 days to get back to me. Anyway, less of that, let's crack on with the build. What I'm going to do here is quickly clean up these circular chambers. So let's use the speedy uppy thing. Now they're cleaned up, I'm going to use my home brew sprue glue to fill in the holes on here. As later on, I'm going to have to make some different holes for the fuel pipes. That's done, so let's put those to one side and let them dry. I'll probably clean them down a bit and add another layer just to build it up to the same size as the band that goes around them. So while they're drying, let's crack on with cleaning up the rocket motors and the chambers. Here you can see me doing a bit of BDR, that's battle damage repair, on my homemade sanding sticks. If you want to know how to make them, then check out the tutorial in the tutorials playlist. There are some nicks in the bell of the exhaust, so I'm just going to fill those in. There we are, they're all done, so let's put those to one side, let them dry and we can clean them up. Now I'm going to be trimming down the module pods. Here you can see that I knocked off one of the greeblies off of Bob. I did this several times during this session so I just glued them back on. And another. So that's both of them cleaned up and holes filled. I only showed you the first one as you don't need to see the second one because nothing interesting happened. 
So, now to crack on with sorting out the main hold. Still not sure what to do with this, the rescue pod or the VIP pod. I'm erring towards the VIP pod as I've already done the rescue pod. So, yeah, why not? Decision made, I'm going with the VIP pod. So, let's crack on cleaning this pod up. There we go, let's leave that to one side. It also looks like Teddy has taken to face planting. What's going on there? I can't leave him there. He can't watch. So, I'd better pick him up. So, I've gone through my PE and found these little greeblies that I'm going to use on the landing gear. They're from the one second second sterling. They're the sway feet on the bombs. So, let's get these cut out, bent, and stuck on. Whenever I cut PE out, I always cut it on a piece of glass. The reason for this is that there is no give in the glass, which means the PE doesn't bend. Also, I saw somewhere recently that it's a good idea to put sticky tape on the back of the PE sheet. This will stop the PE flying off into the big blue yonder. What a good idea. And there we have the four landing gear with PE. Again, I've failed miserably to do a show and tell. I'm really sorry folks, I really need to get that sorted. I lied, I did do a show and tell, it was just further on in the film. Look, see, I found it. Whoop whoop! There you go, that's what it looks like. Now, we're going to do some spraying today. Here, I'm using my homemade holders. All they are is a bamboo stick, with a crocodile clip pinched to one end. Simples. Here I'm using blue tack as I need an area to use so I can glue it to the module. And here's what I use to put the bamboo sticks into. The base is bamboo, nice heavy wood. Any heavy wood will do but don't use light wood as it may tip over very easily. Then what I do is glue high density foam to it. You know the type you get in packaging for laptops and stuff like that. Uh, I use this sort of foam instead of polystyrene because the polystyrene falls apart really quickly but the high density foam is self sealing so you can use it time after time after time after time. Now it's time to prime them. I like to prime in black so this is what I use. I get it from my local motor factors. It's about £5 a pop, half the price of Alfred's and just as good a finish. And this is what it looks like. I'll do a quick show and tell so you can see what it looks like. See, I remembered. While that's drying, let's crack on with priming the modules. As you can see, I've marked each of the modules, one with an E for engines and the other with a C for cockpit so I know which way round they go. They're prepped for priming, so let's get those little tinkers primed. Oops, 
I forgot to show what they look like post priming. I'm really sorry folks. I'm gonna have to keep remembering this. Anyway, they're to one side drying. So whilst that's going on, I'm gonna give the engines and modules another bath in methylated spirits to give them a good old clean. But remember folks, no more than five minutes in there. Otherwise you run the risk of completely bodging your model. Whilst that's in the bath, I'm going to start to cut out the lengths of rod for the engine supports on the rear. I've got my measurements I took earlier. As I've got three different lengths, I decided to mark one red, one blue, and leave the other one white. This just means I don't get confused, and you see I'm, I get very easily confused. Oh, why? What am I doing here? What's going on? So there we have all our rods cut to the hopefully correct length. We'll soon find out. Now it's time for our trusty toothbrush and time to give these engines a damn good cleaning. See if we can get it all sorted. Oh really? For fuff's sake snapped engine oh well at least there is a silver lining it does make it easier to clean the rest and no it wasn't because of the meths bath I just tweaked too hard anyway I'll fix this later I was having trouble getting the gloss black off so I'm gonna break my own rule here and I'm giving them another five minutes in the meths bath Hopefully this will do the trick. Well, there's five minutes up and it hasn't melted into a gloopy mess. So let's crack on and finish cleaning it up. Here I changed to a used scotch pipe pad. Used, but cleaned up. Honest. Anyway, I found this was brilliant at cleaning it all up. As it was used, it was not as harsh as a new one, but harsher than a toothbrush. So. Let's finish it off. Ah, oh, not another. Yeah, I noticed the other of the engine supports had snapped. So I took that off too. I'll get these sorted later. For now, let's get them all cleaned. So, there's the engines cleaned. Well, that seemed like a good as place as any to end this episode. So, that's where we are with the build. Now, remember guys, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, get the message out there to as many models as possible, like the video, ring my bell. Remember, stay safe, keep on modelling. <laughs>